नमशिवाई स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अ सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ द चैप्टर एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पी एच विथ यू सल्यूशन हैविंग पी एच फ्रॉम रेंजिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू सिक्स आर एसिडिक सल्यूशन हैविंग पी एच सेवन आर बेसिकली न्यूट्रल एंड सल्यूशन हैविंग पी एच रेंजिंग फ्रॉम एट टू फोर्टीन दे आर बेसिक इन नेचर नाउ In this video today, we will be learning about the importance of pH in our day-to-day -day life. So, all of you have read about the process of digestion in class seven. So, you already know that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid, and it helps in digestion of our food. Now, if you don't eat for a prolonged time, or if you eat too much of spicy food, then what will happen? If you are not eating for a long period of time, the hydrochloric acid will still be produced in your stomach. Or if you are eating spicy food, which is difficult to digest, then the stomach will be producing more hydrochloric acid to digest that food. so when the stomach produces excess amount of acid it will cause indigestion and it will lead to acidity i think most of you have faced this in your life and it will cause pain and irritation in your stomach so when you have acidity what you do you take an antacid like eno gelosil sort of like uh, that pan 40 etc so you take an antacid to uh, cure this indigestion or acidity now why you take the antacid you take the antacid because antacid contain bases what kind of bases mostly magnesium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide so an antacid contains this bases magnesium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide and when you have this antacid what will happen then the reaction will take place between acid and base and neutralization reaction take place resulting in the formation of salt and water and thus the ph will again come back to 5 and it will cure your acidity and you will get relief so thus uh, this is the importance of ph in our digestive system there should be correct ph in the digestive system if the correct ph is not man maintained then what will happen it will lead to indigestion or acidity and then you have to take medicines next is tooth decay you know that the enamel of tooth is made up of calcium phosphate it is the hardest substance in our body this calcium phosphate it does not dissolve in water but when the ph of the mouth lowers below 5.5 then it starts getting corroded so what happens it is told that after you eat food you should uh, wash your mouth with water otherwise what happens the bacteria which is present in our mouth it will degrade or the sugar and form acid and thus it will lower the ph of your mouth and if the ph of the mouth gets lowered below 5.5 then it will start the calcium phosphate or the enamel of the tooth will start corroding and so what is the best way to prevent it the best way to prevent it is to clean the mouth after eating with water or by using a basic toothpaste toothpaste usually contains base so you have to use toothpaste and this toothpaste what does it do the toothpaste contain base and the acid which is present in the mouth which is formed in the mouth it reacts with that and neutralizes it so you must brush your teeth twice a day and you should maintain good oral hygiene otherwise it will lead to tooth decay the next is self defense by animals and plants through chemical warfare uh you must have got bitten by ants in your life and what happens when ants bit you then bite you then what happen it uh, the area becomes swollen 
why the area becomes swollen because an acid is being injected they, that's why the area becomes swollen and you start itching similarly honey bee injects an acidic liquid into the person's body formic acid and when it stings honey bee when it stings it causes pain and irritation so when a honey bee in uh, if it bites if it um, stings you then what you should do you should apply a base baking soda is used as a remedy because as a base because what does it do it neutralizes the acid which is being injected and it brings back again the ph of the human body to 7.4 again baking soda can be used also calamine lotion can also be used to treat the irritation which is caused due to the sting of honey bee now see nature also provides neutralization option the first plant you, which you can see on the top that is a nettle plant it is a herbaceous plant which mostly grows in the wild the leaves have got stings or small like uh, when it if it touches your body then what will happen it will cause pain and irritation in your body why because methanoic acid is secreted by them so what is a traditional remedy the traditional remedy is to rub the area with the leaves of dock plant this is the dock plant if you rub the area with the leaves of dock plant then uh, this uh, irritation goes and the most interesting fact is that the dock plant it generally gr grows beside the nettle plants in this in the wild so the dock plant is basically basic in nature so what happens it will react with the acid if you if you rub the area it will react with the acid and the neutralization reaction will occur and the pain will go so this is a natural remedy so if you accidentally touch a nettle plant during trekking in the wilds then you should rub the area with dock plant and that will provide relief and the mechanism of action is neutralization reaction okay so we learnt about the importance of ph in our day to day life now i have given here four questions there are four questions here this four questions you have to do it in your copy question 1 you have two solutions a and b solution a is having ph 6 and solution b is having ph 8 so which solution is having more hydrogen ion concentration hydrogen ion concentration is more in solution a which is acidic right and which one is basic solution b is basic question number 2 what effect does the concentration of h plus ions have on the nature of solution this was already taught to you the answer will be this one if the h plus ion is more than greater than oh minus ion then it is a acidic solution if h plus ion is equal to oh minus ion then it is a neutral solution and if h plus ion is less than oh minus ion it is a basic solution don't get confused with h plus uh, here it is written h3o plus ion which is hydronium ion i have already discussed previously that h plus ion immediately reacts with h2o2 from h2o plus or hydronium ions uh next do basic solution also have h plus ion yes and but then why they are basic because oh minus ions is more same the answer is given there next under what soil uh, uh, under what soil condition do you think a farmer would treat the soil of his friend fields with quick lime quick lime is calcium oxide or slick lime calcium hydroxide or chalk calcium carbonate so all these are basic so uh, what condition a farmer will treat the soil with the uh, of his field with this Uh, if the soil has become acidic somehow, if it has become acidic due to acid rain or some uh, pollution or some as, uh, acidic chemical is being released in the soil due to which the soil has become acidic, then the farmer will treat the soil of his field with this basic things. Okay, so I want everyone to uh, copy these questions and solve the ans and write the answers. 
थैंक यू नमस्वाय